What did he say, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? A person might think to themselves, I've got this covered. I already know what's written on his head. I know he's got one eye. I know he's a kafir. I know he's nothing. I'm not worried about him. I'll go approach him and tell him he's a liar. I have faith. I pray in the masjid. I know my, my Rabb. I know my Lord. I know my Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I know my Quran. The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Man sami'a bid dajjal. If you hear about dajjal coming, fafirru minhu. Run away from him. And he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna rajul layatihi wa huwa yahsibu annahu mu'min. See, that's the thing here. A person will go walking up to him thinking he's a believer. He might actually be a believer when he's walking up to him. But he's like, I've got this. I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about his fitna. And he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, fayatabi'uhu mimma yub'athu bihi min ash-shubuhat. And then he ends up following him because of the feats of a dajjal because of the doubts that he's able to put in people's minds. He dove into it, and he thought that he was ready for it, and he wasn't ready for it. He thought that his belief was strong enough, and maybe it wasn't strong enough. The point is, Allah and the Messenger some are telling you, don't go test yourself. Say, Alhamdulillah, you haven't been put in that test. And if you're put in that test, it's because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows you're capable. Because Allah is not unjust. If you end up in that test, it is because you're capable by idnillahi ta'ala. Because Allah is not unjust. If you're not in that test, say alhamdulillah and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the rank and ask Allah to be spared from a test that you feel like you will not be able to handle. But you don't know yourself until you're in that situation. And that's why when we see someone who's sinning or we see someone who's going through a difficulty even in regards to their faith, we don't mock them. We don't taunt them. We don't make memes about them. We don't circulate it on our groups. We don't taunt them. We say, Alhamdulillah, ladhi afani. Alhamdulillah, Allah spared me. May Allah guide that person. I'm not going to make fun of that person. That might be me one day. Maybe something happened where there was a perfect storm that shaitan was able to capitalize on and take that person down that dark, dark, dark path. I'm not going to mock him in that path. I'll extend my hand while praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm in a place to extend my hand to that person and not the one that's having the hand extended to them because spiritual poverty is even worse than physical poverty. And if I still have my spirituality, if I have my deen intact and I see someone that's suffering in that regard, I'm not going to kick that person down. I'm not going to make fun of that person. I'm going to say, alhamdulillah, I'm not in their situation. I don't know what led them to that situation. I'm not justifying the sin, but I hope they get out of it, and I'm glad I'm not in it. Alhamdulillah. The Prophet ﷺ taught us to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing us. Because you don't know how you would respond to that test. You might hear about fitna breaking out, trials and tribulation between people, division, masjid politics, communities fighting each other, this person fighting this person, this imam taking shots at this imam. This group of brothers, this group of sisters. And something's going on and it's circulating in the groups. You know, subhanAllah, one of the most profound statements I've ever read from Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, rahimahullah ta'ala. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz was asked about some of that dissension between the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. When the Prophet ﷺ was talking to the Sahaba about fitna breaking out that would cause people to raise swords on each other, so many of them thought, no way this would happen to us. We'd never see this in our lifetime. We'd never see ourselves fighting each other like this. We'd never fall to that. We'd never let our enemies pit us against each other. We'd never become those people. But it happened to some and fitna broke out. And Umar ibn Abdul Aziz was asked about the fitna. And he said, what do you say about this person? What do you say about this person? You know what he said? He said, Dima'un kaffallahu yadayya anha. He said, that is blood that Allah spared me from dipping my hands into. Why would I go dip my tongue into it now? Allah spared me from putting my hand on a sword or from hurting someone or from getting involved in it. Why am I going to go put my tongue in it if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected me from that fitna? You think about it. You hear about something going on. You hear about the latest gossip in the community. You see something breaking out between brothers and sisters in the community, and you better believe that shaitan, because shaitan paralyzes us when he pits us against each other. He gave up on disconnecting us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our salah. So the Prophet said what? He turns ahlul salah against ahlul salah, the people who pray against the people who pray. 